Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 55, and I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got my brothers back on the channel with me. You want to introduce yourselves? Yo, what's good? You know it's JR, bro. Biggish. You know what I'm saying? And welcome back to another episode, like I said, 55, and it's a very special episode, because uh, after all these years, we got a sponsor, so shout out to, I don't know, shout out to Natural Sheila Jeet. It's, um... You know, it's one of those uh, natural remedies that come from the mountains. So for all the people that need energy in the morning, if y'all like me that record podcasts, edit podcasts at night, or even stay up all night playing 2K and shit like that, this shit, if you take this once or twi- once to three times a day, you know, it gives you energy, keeps you focused and things like that. It helps the mind, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Sheila G for sponsoring our podcast and things like that. And go cop some, go cop some of their stuff. Code no regulars will save you some money, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, you can put that show over there so type they can see shit, it. Type I'm shit, shit I'm type shit, type shit. Hey, bro. Oh shit. Oh, and this one. Let me say real quick. This one, if that the other one I showed you, it was like it's um, what's it called? It's the um, the raw version of it. So this this stuff, if you don't like the little natural tasting, it's Hello, raw. I had some this morning. It's kind of like earthy. It's like you put some. So what you do is you Taste get a little bit. Nah, it tastes like. I don't Wait, what do you do with that? It's like you get a little bit of it, and then you put it in like some tea, oh. and then you drink it in the morning. It's like detox. Oh, you drink it, oh. yeah. Oh, but this right. stuff right here, I didn't try this yet. This is like it has honey in it, so it's like honey mixed with the stuff, and then you put this in your drink in the morning, night, whatever. Set that, set you know, that. if you need your minerals, need your energy, need your um vitamins and shit, this is this is for you people. But um, well, so let me oh let me shout out all the stuff. Uh, follow us on TikTok. I know regulars we're already at two hundred thousand on TikTok. Finally. After all them freaking... Yo, we were stuck at 199 for like two, three, four weeks, bro. Mm. Hey, TikTok, I heard TikTok changed the algorithm, but we straight now. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Follow us on yeah, Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Merch coming soon if you like the stuff. New new collections dropping probably on Halloween, bro. Pop you know that. You know what I'm saying? Cop Needs all that stuff. That all this shit. All this shit. We got hats. We got tr- uh, trucker hats. We got tote bags coming. And we got more t-shirts with more designs. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like it, you know, join the Discord also. Join the Discord. Uh, follow us on all podcasts and platforms at No Regulars Podcast. And subscribe down to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the channel, all that stuff. This is the No Regulars Podcast where we talk about all the weirdest and dumbest things and we might get canceled one day for it. Oh, I can't wait. Join it. I join it all. <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, if you stop having Bash on, bro, you won't get canceled, bro. You're good. Bash comes <laughs> out again? Dude. My mom actually she likes said, Bash. Dude. She watch the podcast. She did watch. She watches every podcast. She thinks Bash looks like a panda bear. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, but shout out to your mom then, bro. Cause she got a good heart. Cause I don't. Shout out. I don't like Bash. So, She's waiting for yours and Fritz's cause. episode. Oh man, that's gonna be a good one. I know. She said, "Cause you always be bashing Fritz every yeah, episode." I'm not gonna lie. You might have to. Um, what's it called? You might have to censor that one. Hey. I'm just, <laughs> actually, I didn't start it off. My fault. I forgot to say, yo. Let's get the Fritz out the way. Fritz. <laughs> There you go. L Fuck Fritz you, in the Fuck chat. Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> Fuck you, Jay. All right. Moving on. We get started. All right. So so since we was talking about the new sponsorship, it goes with your mind. I got something I want to talk about. I was watching the other day. Mm-hmm. Yo, Ish, I think we was talking about before. You know what DMT is, right? The yeah. Little, the little drugs and shit. Yeah. I was I was reading a story the other day of some guy who took DMT, and he was like, he was high for like 10 minutes. But like during that 10 minutes, he lived the whole life. And then when he woke up, he literally died. So, like, when he came back, he was like, yo, where my family, my wife, and kids at? And he was like, yo, what you talking about? You just taking some DMT and shit. That's that Rick and Morty, bro. Like, just imagine, bro. Like, just imagine. For 10 minutes, you live a whole life. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, that I might, stuff I is might, scary. I might end my life. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yo. No, I, I want you to imagine this, right? Let's pretend this life that I'm living right now, right, yeah. is the 10-minute experience I'm having in a different one, and I wake up. Killing myself. <laughs> like, Yo. Like, Wait, what if you wake up and it's better, though? Nigga, what's Oh, better? that's lit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is lit. You just think you live in a lit life now. You wake up and it's okay. something different. Now, what here, if, what okay. if you wake up as a bug? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wake up as a fly set. Midlife. Midlife, then. <laughs> I'd be like, hear me out, really. So imagine, like, you wake up as a different person, like, especially for someone like you, right? Because obviously, you know, you and Jay, great, going yeah. far, right? So you live this whole life with Jay now, you wake up and she's <laughs> not there, bro. Like I know, yeah, now nah, that would be bad. Like but like, I'm not going to lie, if that was me, I would not like believe anything in life for real. Because if I could really live a whole life like that in 10 minutes yeah. and not really realize and I wake up, I'm in another, I would not believe that shit. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I heard the people that take it and stuff, like they take it and they like, 
it changes them. Like they see like didn't Mike Tyson life, take that shit? Yeah, they see life as like a different view and stuff. But I don't know. I heard like Joe Rogan takes that shit a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. There's <laughs> people that so do weird, take bro. it a lot, and it's it's crazy. I don't know. Yo, I can't. Shout out. Hold up, bro. That's that's crazy. We're coming for you, Joe Rogan. Fuck your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we up next. Seti. I ain't gonna lie. I think we like top five. What the shit we talk about? Like if what I looked at throughout TikTok, we like at least top five. Bro, all it takes, I think, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not it's not like the content that's not bringing in views. It's not what we're talking about. It's not bringing in views. It's just we need the boost. We just need to get like the you know like how one video blows up and now that like, creator's big because yeah. of one type thing. Yeah, type, type shit. Type That's shit. what we need. Like I don't know when it's gonna happen, but like I guarantee you, it's not the content. It's not whatever it else. It's just that we haven't gotten the boost yet from some yeah. random jump of numbers or something. Yeah, it's all good though. Yo, my yeah. teeth hurt, bro. Why your teeth hurt? <laughs> I think it's my uh the grava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you grab <laughs> nah, boy. What is those teeth called, bro? That grow in and shit. Oh, wisdom teeth. Your wisdom yeah, they busting right now. You gotta now. get your shit freaking. You off. I'm removed. scared though. I'm scared. I am scared that. too. I ain't That's gonna lie. Wait, I don't want to do that. Y'all don't have your wisdom teeth removed? Mm-mm. Nah, boy. Um, it doesn't really. It hurts. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, not they, they're they doing put it. you to sleep, bro. You could ask to be put to sleep, but I was in the military when they did it, so. You was awake? Yeah. Oh, hell, oh. hell no. Yeah, no, they Boy, took all lived four. through that. But the worst part wasn't the um the surgery. It was afterwards, bro. Because if they don't, for whatever reason, they didn't stitch my shit up. So I just had four open holes in my mouth. Ooh. So I had to be insanely careful while eating. Because if anything gets in them, it gets infected and you could die from something like that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Fuck that, see? Wait, why did they stitch that. you up? Because the military fucking sucks. They don't care about me. You know, it's like. <laughs> hey, dude, people don't go to the military. You know, I but yeah, no, it's not too it's not too bad. But like, it's just that eating afterwards it sucks because I mean you don't realize how much. Like, yeah, you do. Really yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even when I be hurting them, like sometimes I'd be like, dang, I can't eat. I yeah. can't chew nothing. But like my teeth, it be hurting, but it goes away. Like after like maybe like a day, it'll hurt for like a day or two, and then it stops. So I'm like, do I really need them just taken out? I'd be scared with my teeth. I'm not gonna lie. Like if anything happens, I see like a little black mark on it. I freak out, but I'm like, fuck, I'm losing my teeth. Like it's done up. Wait, right? like you mean like a like cavities or something? Yeah, like even like a cavity or like I'm mean, just like even if it's like Bruh, cause you gotta think about it, teeth can't grow back. Like, yeah, will not come back. So I freak <laughs> out. I, I freely, unfortunately, I don't even. Like I brush my teeth like a normal person, but yeah. like I act like I like would brush more because like I'd be freaking out, bro. Like I'm very weird about my teeth. Like, I got like food sucking it earlier today. I thought like I was like I was like damn bro. I need to go to the dentist, bro. So, like I can't lose my teeth. I'm scared to lose my teeth. Like, it's done up for me. But you can get a fake. Teeth. I mean the fake tooth that you gotta. Yeah, bro. You think I wanna fucking have a glass of water by my nightstand and put my <laughs> teeth in there at night? Like nah, I'm good. Like, but like that's a fact, I ain't gonna lie. I be thinking dentists like low key be messing your teeth up even more so you can keep going back. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It yeah. has to be. I've like, heard a lot of stories about dentists fucking up. Cause they be like raking the fuck mm-hmm. out of my teeth. And like they be t- like I floss every day, and they mm-hmm. still floss. And like they be like, "Yo, they tell me I have like gingivitis warning." I'm like, "What? Like I floss my teeth every day. I brush my teeth every day. It's like not like I yeah, I don't bro. eat candy like that. So it's like I feel like they just do that so you can get like you know, so they get paid and shit like that. Little you know, scratch your teeth up here and mm-hmm. there, some shit, put a little bacteria. They dickheads, bro. Yeah. But alright, so I got a question, right? So say annoying a person is a thousand dollars. What would you do? You guys rich. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do to get to a million dollars? Like, what would you do to get to a million dollars the fastest? If yeah, I would just freaking, nigga, what? I'll just freaking roast somebody all day long. Simple. Now we not each not every time you know it's a uh, one person. So you have to do different people is a thousand dollars. Oh, you I can't do. just roast one certain person. Oh, um, I mean that's not too hard for me. What you gonna do? I know exactly how to get under people's skin. I just gotta, I just gotta know the person. I get under your skin, yours, hers, probably. I, ain't I gonna get lie. under anybody's skin if I really want. You know to. what I'm gonna do? You know how the people in like New York City have like microphones that they talk about controversial shit? They'd be yeah. like, they'll be like, um, what do they say? They'd be like, uh, pronouns is not real. Oh, they lose. Go to California. <laughs> go to California with that. You might get. You might get. I might, you might get, get million, crucified. I might get a million dollars in the same. They might kill you before you can. Say bro. some controversial shit. Didn't you want to say some controversial shit, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Them people are sick, bro. Hey, bro, I got a billion dollars. Hey, but we love those people. This is all jokes, by the way. Don't don't catch no feelings. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. But what, what what controversial shit you want to talk about? Um, <clears throat> I guess it's controversial in terms of uh, men and women, right? So we know, right, that oh shit, there's certain things that we can and cannot do, but we can't stop what other people do, right? So for example, right, like I can't go to Newark wearing a certain color. By myself at like 2 a.m. walking down the street, right? There's yeah. things I, I can't stop them from what they're going to do to me. But what I can stop is what time I go there, what I'm going to wear, 
how I operate, if I'm in a group of people, right? Yeah. So this is what I mean in terms of this, right? So with it doesn't so much happen to guys, but it happens to women a lot, right? Like people will harass them, cat call, you know, can put them in danger and all that stuff. And I was talking to a girl, right? And she's like, um, it just shouldn't happen. I said, I agree, but here's the thing. You could take preventive measures to help yourself from getting put in that situation, right? Because she's preaching all, I'm going to do what I want. I should be able to do what I want because they shouldn't do it to begin with. I said, I agree. It's fucked up. You're not to blame for putting yourself in a situation, right? But there's things you could do to not be in that situation, period, or when you are in one because you don't choose when and where it's going to happen. Yeah. You could get pepper spray, go with people, not go in this area around a certain time. And um, she was like, I'm going to do what I want to do at the end of the day because I'm going to do it. And I'm not sorry. I was like, well, you're going to get put in danger. And that's just dangerous. If you're going outside at random times, putting yourself in a dangerous situation for the sake of just because I can and they shouldn't, you're a that's little a bit fact. wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's dumb to put yourself like, I, I agree. Hear me out. Rapists shouldn't exist. Robbery shouldn't exist. You shouldn't get harassed. Nothing like that. But hear me out. And I'm sorry if there's any female watchers and you don't agree with me. But there's no reason that you shouldn't protect yourself or put yourself in a better situation for the sake of they shouldn't just do it. We live in a fucking sick world and the reality of things are it's, it's going to happen whether you want it to or not, whether it's right or wrong, which it's not right. But it's going to happen and you need to protect yourself, period. But she was not having none of that. She didn't agree with me. So what she was I'm saying sick. is that she she's still going to do whatever she wants, but she them, them people just shouldn't do it at that right day. Yeah, like, they shouldn't. It sounds but, like that girl thinks... The, everything's supposed to revolve around her or something like that's what i'm saying like she's protected by the fucking i don't know fucking ghost or something right and she's like, saying and she's saying like, the mindset that i have is what it's allowing the world to get away with this stuff no because there's laws in place that yeah. don't allow this to happen they should just break just, the laws we, every yeah, day we live in a sick fucking world and you can't stop what they're doing but what you can do is prevent it or make it easier and safer for yourself it's like crossing the street at a red light, and the car shouldn't go, right? Yeah. So you could just walk straight, right? Don't look left and right because it shouldn't happen. But it could still yeah, exactly. happen. Exactly. Why not just do the safest thing possible? And look both ways. When you don't have that choice either way. You know what I'm saying? You okay. have certain choices. And she's oh, like, oh, but it's not my responsibility. True. It shouldn't be my responsibility. Sure, in a perfect world, but now it is because we live in a fucked up world. It's somewhat your responsibility to be safer. Hmm. That's actually kind of facts. That really but a lot of females won't agree, and I'm sorry if I offended any of you, but it's I mean, just the truth. We live in a sick fucking world, and it's not like, right. Thinking about them, I understand, like, because, like, they just don't want to be, like, what's the word? Having to control what they do just because they're a woman. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, yeah, shit. I see where they're coming from, and I agree. Like, if I want to go to the grocery store and I don't want someone to harass me, yeah, it shouldn't happen, but it's possible, so why wouldn't I put myself in the best situation? No reason not to for the sake of... Fuck it, they shouldn't. Nigga, there's a lot of things niggas shouldn't do, but... They still might do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. You don't have that Fuck choice. It. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I got for uh, controversy. Oh, oh shit. Stuff. I thought it would be a lot worse. No, no, no. <laughs> I, keep it, I keep it, you know, a little simpler for um, YouTube. Shit. I got a lot worse, trust. Hey, bro. But now I got another question. So, to save y'all girl's life, right, would you rather fight Mike Tyson in his Damn. prime or Damn. fight his pet tiger? Huh? <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, I'm going to slip him some DMT. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not fighting that was tiger. It when, was it when the tiger was a baby? Nah, it's like his full-grown tiger. Come on. Son. <laughs> Come on son. I'm not fighting that tiger. I'm not gonna lie well, I got a weapon with the tiger, though. Nah, you just you fighting them. Stop. <laughs> what do you mean just fighting I'm them? I'm not going to lie, bro. My Hands girl. up. <laughs> just fighting them with the tiger. <laughs> my girl's dead. You want like, go what do you want me to do? <laughs> This like I said, would you rather your girl die? You don't gotta win. Die. You just gotta fight him. But you might. You just gotta survive. Bro, I'm out to put that. But he cat, like, I'm out to put that cat in a sleeper hole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out to I'm grab not, him up bro, on some Tarzan and shit. Bro, you seen what he did with the leopard, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's also a man <laughs> born kid. from the fucking jungle, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm a suburbs guy. Oh, I take Damn. Damn. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't fighting a tiger, bro. You see when tigers maul people? Like, you ever seen the videos of that shit, bro? Yeah, I see a mauling, bro. like, like buffalo. That shit look like... And they be just... It take them, like, 20 minutes for that thing to die, bro. They just get eaten. Yeah, I just have to fight Mike Tyson and get destroyed. I get my ass beat. Like... Guess oh, I have But to. it might... Oh, dang. But I might die from that, too. That's one hit. Saying, one hit from one that hit man, from I might Tyson die. Mike Tyson is insane. Dang. My face is broken. Like my face is reconstructed. Like it's done. But it's for your girl, though. Yeah, I guess I have to. I think. I, yeah, that's me. I guess but I'm... also, 
Remember when you sent me that African dude that that killed the tiger, tiger barehanded, barehanded, yeah, bro. and y'all was y'all be y'all be kind of saying, "Oh, it's not possible." Y'all be fine, bro. There's somebody actually did that shit. You heard how? about that? How do you do that? Shit? Bro, it was in Africa, and I guess the the was it it was a lion that was attacking his family, and he was able to kill the lion barehanded. That's gonna be me, bro, and the tiger, bro. That's, I be trying. We be trying to tell y'all people uh, it's possible. Nah, he, he had to have some secrets. He even have superpowers. You, yeah, you don't just do that, bro. Kill him, bear. He got a little bit of wounds, but that that, that lion died though. That's why. Fuck, fuck How do you do up. that? I don't know. That's what I'm Wait, saying. I need to see that movie. What's that movie called with that lion? Predator, with the Idris Elba in it. Yeah, the, y'all the, seen that? I, I think no. it's called like Beast or some shit. Nice. Yeah, Beast yeah. or something like that. They are, like running from like some killer a lion or some shit. I beat. It look. Kind of, I don't know if it came out yet though, but but nah, it, it should I, look I to with, be honest. But with the dude with the line, I feel like like what if he like lied just to like get publicity and some money? Like he just possible, has some, yeah. Because like, I mean, I just don't see I it happening. That nigga gonna get some public, some money from that. I don't know. You get called up by Jimmy Fallon, like yo, you you survive, you kill a line with your bare hands. He's like yo, how'd you do it? He just tell him like oh now he famous. Dang, you know he probably get like he probably get like two months of fame out of that, get a little yeah. bread, you know, get a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. No, nah, I feel like somebody probably reported that or something. Oh, like a like a policeman seen them, like helped them out or some shit. Yeah, wherever, wherever it happened, that they probably found out. Somebody in like the news probably just yeah. told somebody else. Like, how the hell you kill a lion with your bare hand? That's supposed to see that lion had to have been like I, handicapped. I just don't see it happening. Like the only way I could see myself penetrating anything is his eyeballs. Actually, no, I'm fighting Mike do. Tyson. Uh, ti- <laughs> Tiger worse than a lion. That's what I'm saying. Going lion. Tiger's huge. Tiger's worse than a lion. Yeah, it's not dude. happening, bro. Oh man, bro. Dude. But all right, so I got another question. So Jeff Bezos is offering offering you everything he owns, right? Mm-hmm. But in order to get that money, you have to survive. You have to survive a grizzly bear appear, appearing randomly once a day every month for the next three years. I can prepare myself. No, I mean like it happens every. It's once a day. Yeah, but like I could have. Wait, huh? well, not not once a day. Once a month. Oh, so a random day. Di- kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> so a random day, every month for three years straight, and then once you finish that, then you get the money and everything you own. Well, I could be strapped. You could be strapped, but he could be like out. Like what? That's no, a that's, big that's, grizzly that's bear. Randomly. Like, what if he what? catches me on the day I'm like super lacking? I'm like hella tired. <laughs> oh, bro. I've been worked all day. I, I'm gonna I have didn't. my GTA inventory on me. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to bro. just never lack. I ain't gonna. I'll yeah, go to sleep. Not be lacking. Go to sleep with the pistol. Oh, yeah, yeah be t- yo, imagine like you go you through. Just like wake your, up and you your full yeah, day. Yeah. You go through your full day. It's two a.m. He still ain't show yet, and you know he's coming from the hours of two a.m. Like, right, you just 20, can't sleep for that Twenty-seven day, days left. But There's like only th- three more days. He has to come this that's day. What I'm saying, that's what I'm bro. saying. Like I rather. I'll be paranoid. I rather. I rather be at the start of the month. So like at least when it's I can have rest for like the rest. Rest of the month, and I can prepare for the next one. Damn. But like, like just imagine, like he just come outside that door right now. I'm lack. Like, he's like, like, what you gonna do? I'm super lacking in the podcast. I would have yeah. to come with on the podcast like a Barry Fifty on my back. Like, <laughs> but hey, you get to have Je- everything Jeff Bezos owns, bro. I don't know if that's worth it. You don't think it's worth it? I don't think I survive it, bro. Oh, I'm gonna be at my kid's baby shower. And I'm, like, I'm gonna have to <laughs> shoot up a bear, bro. It's only three years though. No, for three years of your life, I think I'm gonna do it though. But what if you're at work? You're lacking. You just never lack. You just had that shit in the in the under there's, the glove compartment. There's nothing that you That'll could carry nuts. that could kill like, a bear that fast. It's that small. Dude, what if I'm just at work and it just like busts through? Like, if anything, I'm gonna I'm carry some pe- uh, some bear spray on me. That's true. Some that bear shit bear actually spray? is really heat. That, that shit really shit, works. Yo, it's like ten times stronger than like pepper oh. spray. <laughs> That's like just pe- crazy. You thought pepper spray is bad? That shit is like thirty times. I've that never shit, heard that shit fires. Like they said that shit works. They said that shit works better than guns. Like they use them in the national parks. I've never heard of that. One, not to kill them, yeah. and guns just make them more mad. I know. So if you shoot them, they just be like, <laughs> just oh, come I might cheat with that. They Bear gonna spray? Dip. They going to dip. This, Honestly, what do you think goes through their bit, like, head when they get pepper sprayed? They, 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 like, they the cannot the pass, is like, possibly fathom what the fuck just sprayed them. <laughs> they, they can't see, <laughs> they though, can't. so they, they just dip go, out of there. Uh, <laughs> it's going to run into a tree. <laughs> like, I'm pepper spraying the shit out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm bro. Carrying like ten on me. I would, I would abuse <laughs> it's it. It's gonna be like if a I fire saw, thing. If I saw him lacking, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because I get mad. If like, a bear tried to go out of his way to attack me, I'm getting mad. So I'm gonna pepper spray him, right? Or bear spray him. Then he's gonna run away, right? I'm gonna follow him until he starts lacking. He's like, damn, bro, that shit sucks. I'm gonna just. Oh, just keep when going. He's lacking, bro. I'm gonna just spray him in his fucking Yo, mouth. That shit is mad <laughs> strong, because I had some. Before it's big, right? Like it's like the size of this. I ain't gonna That's lie. Wild. But yo, that shit is so strong. Like we like sprayed it, like um, 
when we went fishing, like, in the water, bruh, fucking fish started, like, dying, bruh. Like, <laughs> oh, really? like, and, like, fish started coming up. I'm like, chill. Like, they started, like, freaking out. Like, that shit is mad strong. Like, it, before it even, like, touched the water, like, they started freaking out, bruh. What the hell? That What's shit in that mad, shit? I don't know, bruh. Just hella, like, peppers and shit that makes, fucks your eyes up and like, what the fuck in your sinuses. That? Who the hell just discovered that random shit? Bro, mace, pepper spray, and they just amplified it like 10 times for That's animals. Nuts. Nigga, we should... Uh, nah. This is really bad for animals. Imagine that gets on us. No. Oh, we're done. Oh, my God. Nah, you probably, probably got to go to the hospital for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, nigga. You might go blind from that shit. What the hell? <laughs> just imagine. Yeah, bro. Like, I be seeing like hella like... um. I seen like a bear attack video. Like, it was a guy hiking with his family, and the bear was chasing after the dog. Like, the dog was running to the family mm. like this, and the guy pulled out the pepper spray. Mac was like, shh. And that shit just beeline mad fast. Bro, no, I'm that, not gonna lie. That, that bear was coming cheese. hot. Like that shit was yeah. running fast as hell. And you, I've seen another video. There was a guy fishing, and like they was videotaping like the bear cubs like on the side of the river. And then you see the mama bear come out the woods and just oh, driving. Oh yeah, bro. Like out of nowhere. See, see, you see can't that? you can't do shit like that unless you have protection, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. Bro, so like, I just imagine nowhere. some shit like that on your daily daily basis. Dude, I might I get scared spray. and drop. That I got shit. that spray. It's over. It's <laughs> over. Yeah, shake you with it. He's clipped if I got that yeah. spray. If you, drop, I'm a, you know I'm going to have bear traps. Have bear traps and little shit. Just booby like, trap. I got to do... I was going to say put them from my door, but my parents... I feel like a shit. bear trap really... <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I, there's no way bear traps really work, bro. I don't think they use like, that shit anymore. Unless it's like dug into the ground really far, bro, that bear's just going to run with it and it's not it's just going to have one leg bleeding. Nah, it's not going to give a shit. That shit is really fucking that shit will fuck, painful, fuck you up, That shit is like the size of like the table. And I've never seen a bear trap in real life. Like metal. I'm talking off video games. I don't know shit. But like, <laughs> that shit is really like <laughs> Like painful, it's the size bro. of that table. And it doesn't like it doesn't like come out. Yeah, but like, wouldn't they just be able to walk with it, or is it like is it like one, do you have like do you have like stake it into the floor? No, nah, like, you can just put it on nah, the ground. It's like you don't really see it though, because but if just he like, steps on it, then what happens? He, if he's if it he has, closes up like this. Yeah, but it's not gonna stop him from moving. He's just gonna go on nah, his other. But like that shit digs in like it closes like really tight, and like he might break a leg like Nigga, with that you, shit. You running on that? You just gonna that shit might come off eventually. <laughs> like for real though. <laughs> like. Spiky know, against this. Maybe I'm shit. overestimating bears, but I feel like they just wouldn't give a fuck. They'd keep going. <laughs> Maybe if you get the wrong bear, bro. Like yeah. the, the big Honestly, ass I've never seen a bear caught in a bear trap. Though. Like, I don't yeah. think they use it no more. That's like I feel like they, they you can't put that out because I feel like niggas will leave that shit out there. I yeah, mean, yeah, that's the reason why. There's they're still probably hella in like forests in the woods and, and shit. shit. Yeah. Nah, imagine I'll be so pissed, bro. That's like going to like freaking Vietnam, going to the woods and stepping on a landmine. No, nah, that's ton, that's tw- <laughs> Even the deserts and shit, like certain parts in the freaking what Middle they got East, landmines, Middle East, and probably stuff, have IEDs, probably. yeah, mm. probably an IED somewhere waiting for an American and accidentally you step on it and you don't know. Man, what's that freaking show on Netflix? I mean, that movie, that Heat, where that nigga was on the fucking the wall? landmine the whole time. Oh, was that that th- army movie? That I know what you're talking the, about. He was like hallucinating and shit. And he couldn't get up, right? Yeah, and then it was on Netflix. I thought it was on Amazon. I think Oh no, it might have been on I don't know I can't remember I think I think I'm mixing up With that one movie Where he was like Stuck behind a wall It was like called the wall And like his It wasn't guy- the whole time He lifted his dang leg up And the thing didn't even go off Bro like, <laughs> Really like that. That's ass I ain't gonna lie That's crazy plots bro That's a crazy he plot was just like <laughs> was just, I don't wanna take it off <laughs> So he just like He basically just was like I'm done And just committed Yeah and that shit Didn't <laughs> even go off bro That's and ass thought his life was over That's ass bro like they could have been ran. <laughs> <laughs> so you was just sitting there the whole time, bro. Yeah. What the but like hell of stuff was happening? I think like, like at night, like fucking wolves like tried to get him and shit. Oh really? But he had his gun or whatever. Shit. That's ass. That's so fucking. He was ass. like, oh, it's a. On his like pivot leg, bro. <laughs> on his pivot, he yeah, just he's on his pivot type shit. But hey, that bro. shit was lit though. That was a good movie. Hey man, like. Like, I think freaking um, ammo tax is really bad. Like, I think the worst one I ever heard was in World War Two. So, I guess the British was fighting the Japanese, and it was in the jungle. So, like, the British was, like, cornering them. So, the Japanese either had to surrender or keep going into the jungle. So, they went into the jungle, right? And they had to cross this river. And it was, like, about, like, hun- like a couple hundred of them. They went to the river. Crocodiles everywhere slaughtered at least, like, like six, a good, like, probably like 60 percent of them and they <laughs> said all you geez. could hear is just screaming and they said they went there and just seen like you can't like 
they couldn't like determine the bodies. That's how bad it was. Mm. But like yeah. niggas think that shit wasn't like real because they said like how, imagine how many crocodiles were to kill yeah. like they killed like a whole like squadron yeah, they, of they people. They have to be hella croc. Like, but I'm hella. throwing a grenade in that water, blasting <laughs> the boys to bits. You know how many crocodiles that is, nah, bro? That, that there was like seven hundred of them. Oh and like, no, that like, has to be you're like a thousand up. crocodiles or something. You're done up. Like just imagine, bro. Like that's so ass. That's a terrible way to die, bro. That's awful. Like just drowning and being eaten alive, and like you got your limbs just getting ripped off, bro. That's, sounds that's horrible. Bro. Oh my gosh, bro! Free them niggas, bro! Dang, like I can't free them no more. All right, but <laughs> <laughs> but I got some things we could talk about. I got a thing. So can we survive these armies? So say this is the circumstance, right? These armies are coming to get us. There's about 250 of them, and we have a full house of weapons, and we have two days to prepare. But it's these armies from like different parts of time and history. Mm-hmm. So say mm-hmm. it's an army of Vikings. We're done. You, you think we're done with, with the guns? Are relentless, bro. Have you seen anything about the Vikings ever? We're <sighs> done. Wait, we got straps, though? We got straps. How many yeah, of them? I'm blowing them How niggas many? up. 250 minimum. We're losing. Wait, wait, we're losing. Bruh, we, I, we can have any any strap. All right, we're not going to cheese with, with grenade launchers <laughs> oh, and, and no, rocket dang. launchers. Are you give me RPG <laughs> 200 of them out the dock. We just got we got we got uh, ARs and common pistols. I think so. Yeah, you get their AR. <laughs> what you doing with that? Bro, they were bro, they were strong, bro. Like they I were know, bro. You give me an AR. Wait, how many of them? At least minimum 250. All right, that's a lot. Who of am I with? I'm with it's us one. three. What? Wait, yo, you shot a gun before? Hey, hold up. Yeah, no problem. But you have to think about how many two fifty is. Like, say we're say and we're how, divided by three, bro. Everybody <laughs> just needs to kill at least eighty four niggas. Now hear me, <laughs> yo, we get ARs. Everybody has yo. We going for straight. It depends how well, it I think I could get at least. It also depends people. how far out they're coming from, because we, you know, like, say we're in this crib right now. They're coming yo, down the block. We got snipers too. They're running yo. down the block. Like they're they're running down the block. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Well, I you, you think about like, it, these guys are insane. But we got They're two days to nuts. prepare, though. So, like, we have Bro, two we days to booby, set trap. booby traps everywhere. We could just set up well, landmines. Viking, I feel like Nigga Vikings Nigga 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 is his home alone, bro. Like, these niggas <laughs> were nuts. These niggas were insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they were nuts. No, Vikings were bad, though. Like, they really didn't care. They would just go around anywhere. They don't have technology, though. You know how OP technology is nowadays? That is true. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they'll we'll, like they'll lose their arm. They still bro, keep going. Full arsenal, bro. No way, bro. There was armies. I mean, yeah, they they are a tough group of soldiers. But we just you know, normal niggas. We ain't no. We ain't. We ain't hey, no. Bro, you Navy give seals. us that. You give us that. <laughs> We're gonna time, be... bro. We gonna turn to them Walking Dead, bro. We <laughs> we gonna <laughs> wake up stop. overnight ready. We gonna wake up overnight. <laughs> You're gonna ready, catch a bro. throwing axe to your face, bro. <laughs> I know. These are bro. Nuts. <laughs> Play like call. They have never played Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> they have oh never god. played Call of Duty. <laughs> oh my god! No, right, the the next people is a uh, samurais. All right. See now you're wowing. Now you're starting <laughs> to wow out. Wait, what? You're now you're starting to wow out. That niggas, bro. They gonna be like in the cut and stuff. Like it's done <laughs> up. It's done up. I'm gonna be trying to shoot them. I'm gonna have to one. One's gonna be behind me doing a backflip or some shit and like. <laughs> No, nah, they're just dis- <laughs> that's gonna be done now. Nah, they're disciplined as fuck. An army of know. them, they're gonna wait till like the minute I fall asleep. I'm not gonna go sleep for 23 hours. That one hour, you're gonna get me. No, nah, hey, facts. bitch, you got swords though, bro. <laughs> they're so bro. insane. They're very uh, so. You think it's done up for us? A very bro? disciplined group of people. Like, samurais are also insane. They're oh cheesy, my bro. God, they're cheesy. Bro. They're like freaking. And they were full sets of armor, bro. I know. I don't know if it's good against bullets, but I know their armor is really fucking good. So you think it might be like for metal armor and all I think that it was a good amount. Two fifty. Bro, I'm fighting them Vikings before I fight them damn samurai. Right, yeah, so I fight Vikings be... for samurais, bro. So right, it's deep for the crazy. samurais. All right, how about how about the the British army? <laughs> Tell them niggas. That... <laughs> they look so now they got guns. Now I'm smoking on them. But now they got guns. This sh- <laughs> niggas said. I know that it's, is true. It's between is the difference between me and Ish, and I'd miss. <laughs> like, their guns were terrible. Like. Ready. <laughs> and Set. what we gonna do? We just gonna be in the crib. You gonna bet? And soon once they got as soon, as soon as we all hear that one shot, we, we just gonna start gunning. <laughs> they gonna have to reload. We gonna start gunning. Wait, 
That's definitely an easy dub, though. That, that's, that's, that might be the easiest dub. Yeah, that's all right, the easiest all right. one, I think, 100%. Uh, all right, the last one is the Spartans. Damn, I thought you we were, were going to say that. <laughs> nah, they, we lost. You know, you don't know how they're going to cheese us because we don't think, we don't underestimate them. We don't think, because didn't they do that thing? They're insane. They had they insane, the, insane battle strategies. The Trojan they horse. They the horse. Yeah, the Trojan oh, horse. Oh, they're going to. And then they opened up hella niggas in there. <laughs> Yo, that's cheese. What the hell? Plus, they are very strong together. Like they work together insanely yeah, they were, well. Like, they were like ahead of their fuck. Their minds were definitely like yeah. ahead so you don't of think, the time. So you don't think uh, some a couple of ARs and some some dudes is not gonna kill on them? I don't think no, so. they definitely still gonna get God, but because <laughs> they never seen an AR for it, they're gonna be like, Nani, what is this? <laughs> what is this? But no, I don't think we, we win. might still be done up though, because they Cause had some Trojan horse bro, cheese on us. They used to literally fucking light their bows and arrows on fire and just, it was like raining arrows. Like raining fire? Yeah, raining fire. Yo, <laughs> just seeing that. <laughs> I'm gonna get my riot shield cut. <laughs> because it'll riot gonna try. shield. It's gonna try to Dang. do something. That'd be a tough ass movie. Three niggas against a bunch of the armies, bro. That, that would be fire. tough. Mm. Gotta mm. do that. Keep I always, that th- I always thought about making a they, movie. They can make a show like that. Like a TV show? Yeah, they go. Nah, what kind of army show? Max. What it could we survive? A different, a different uh, army. Different army every show. I'm talking about, yeah, like kind of like Mythbusters. Yeah. It, it would be like a group of people who actually are smart. Right? Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, um, they would, you know, the you know, whole episode explain about this and then explain about how we evolved nowadays. And then they could, um, you know, show like a little live action of it in the end. Yeah. I think, no, they actually had a show. It's called, it was called Deadliest Warriors. Yeah, Deadliest Warriors. Yeah. Mm. That but it was one against one. Yeah, it was one it was on fire. one. I used to love that show, bro. It was very Dang, cool. I need to very fun, in. cool. It was very cool. I forgot, who, I forgot who the host was. It wasn't Joe Rogan. I have no idea. It, who was, it, was. it was somebody like Joe Rogan, though. I think it was on like MTV. Yeah, it was mad cool. Yeah. It was like they showed like every weapon they used. And like they would like test it on like a on like a dummy. On like a gelatin dummy though. Yeah. But it was it was like it wasn't like a regular dummy, it was like one made out of gelatin. You could like it had the same kind of bones inside of us and like oh. a fake heart and it would bleed and everything. It was cool. So as it would show like how and then they would do like a simulation at the end type shit, like if these things will fight and like who would win out of like a hundred battles. I gotta yeah. watch that actually. Yeah. I'd be thinking about making like movies and shows like in my head. Like I was thinking like for this stuff, like you know how we all got characters for like the, the podcast yeah. and shit. I was always thinking about making like a comic book series of that. That'd be sick. I think that'd yeah, be tough. That's tough. I mean, but which one of y'all's characters beating mine? <laughs> Besides, the, not even then, it's not up. Like your character is what? just uh, angry uh, and on uh, fire. Robot. A damn, a damn robot! I'm blowing you up because we have military. This is gonna make me OP. I'm a military nigga, right? So you got <laughs> you got a ninja wearing a, a snapback. You Jane Fritz smoked on. He wearing a do No disrespect. A, a giraffe. A girl in a giraffe suit. <laughs> that's a bullet. Sorry. Hey, Brishy. Cyborg kind of tough though. Smoked on EMP. Even... He's getting EMP. He's getting EMP. Um, and then I don't remember. Nah, Chi-Chi's a cyborg. Mine's just an alien. Like you know, okay. you know that. Um, remember that alien from uh, from Ben Ten when he was like it was uh, Kevin Eleven. Not not it was, it was the nigga. He was like green and black, and he could like go. He oh, like yeah, transform yeah, yeah. and shit. Oh, um, nigga got the cheese no character. Name. Yeah, he put himself in the cheese, <laughs> the That's cheese not even that character. This shit's low key. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. Christian Jakai's character is kind of sick though. I think it's basically the the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. So I don't know Grim about Reaper, that. He's nuts. <laughs> Nigga, it's just a big ass robot. That's yeah. tough though. E- EMP. Nah, boy. <laughs> Jordan be like, no, no, ish, ish. There you go. All right, I got another question. What challenge would you do for ten million dollars? And you have to do these challenges. So it's the cl- it's climb Mount Everest in the winter. Oh. Drink 30 liters nice. of Jack Daniels in a month. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. 30 liters. Hey, your alcohol poison. Uh, <laughs> One have, liter of Jack I Daniels might... every single day. Your <laughs> alcohol yeah. poison. No, it's going to be easy. I'm telling you, it's going to be easy. Wait, I got more. I might do that. I ain't you have on. to run through the entire Great Wall of China in a year. No. Or ride a how bike. As fuck. Ride I'm a bike. Shit long as shit. How big? I don't, I don't shit know how long, long it is. So I was gonna say that. But Hold on. Me, and then the the me. last one is ride a bike from Alaska to Miami. Yeah. How you doing yeah. that? Nigga? Yeah, I'm gonna choose that one. Hey, no boy, I'm doing the Jack Daniels one. You gonna drink a liter of Jack yeah, Daniels? Yeah, he's every, dead. So, uh, nah, no, because look, it I'm takes 17 you. months to get the Great Wall of China is 13,000 miles long. Yes. Are you serious? I never knew that. That's sick, bro. Just think about it. From here to Cali is 2,000. So, <laughs> yeah, bro. So I'm saying 13,000 Thir- 13, miles? Miles. How did they How did they make that? 
That's what I'm saying, Nigga, bro. They took their whole fucking. How long has that shit been called China? Whatever. That shit been there since they named it China. Nigga. It took them forever to make that shit. Oh, but you're not lying. California is two thousand miles away. So just imagine, boy, it's gonna six... take me like half the year to run like two hundred miles. What the fuck? Nah, let me. <laughs> Where would you get your food resource, bro? Bro, like imagine walking that shit. Bro. No, you have to run it every day. <laughs> every day. You, you have to go full speed every day. You can't stop. Full sprint. You can't stop. Why can't you get directions if to California sleep, from here? If you sleep, you have to sprint the next seven hours later. You just have to sprint. <laughs> like there's no way. Straight full sprint, bro. bro I'm telling you, I'm doing the Jack Daniels because when I drink... <laughs> My freaking tolerance goes up. <laughs> so every day is gonna go bro, up. Bro, that's a leader. It's gonna go You're up. dead, bro. <laughs> bro, it does. I could drink it throughout the day. I don't have to drink it all at nah, once. That's drink easy. A... That's so. Bro, that's hella. That's so easy. You're just gonna be drunk bro. for a month. I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, make... I'm just gonna be a fuck. Niggas gonna think I'm. Cr- <laughs> yeah. They gonna think my life is done up. Hey yo. I'm like, yeah. nah, bro. I'm doing this for that bread. <laughs> okay, how <laughs> far? How far is Alaska? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, bro. Thirteen thousand miles. I don't even That's know just not what that, that distance not, is. That one's just not possible. What can you use to measure okay. thirteen thousand miles? Bro, hear me out. The world. Alaska is only two point eight thousand miles away. Or two, to Miami to ride a bike. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I think On I might bike? do that. Like, that, like that's a crazy That's, terrain, a, I think that's the best one. That is the best one, but that that terrain is crazy. Yeah, like just imagine you're not you're not crazy. going straight. You might go up some mountain. <laughs> it's going to snow. Like your bike might. I ain't doing none of that. Like shit. like you might get like kidnapped mm. type shit if you go through the Midwest. Like you know they got weirdos that, over that there. Has to they be got my niggas best option, sitting bro. on the highway so just waiting on it it's to, either to break down. Not be able to walk thirteen thousand miles. <laughs> what if your bike catch a flat in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Die at mountain. <laughs> You know, you know. I, was, I think I was talking about with you about on the podcast how like there's pe- dead people's bodies as landmarks from Mount Everest. Yeah, yeah. Die on Mount Everest or die of <laughs> alcohol poisoning. My best choice is ride a bike for two thousand, almost two thousand miles. Oh, actually, with Mount Everest, you can have somebody help you. You better ride with an extra tire, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if that shit go out and you in the middle of nowhere. Oh uh, yeah, I'm kind of fucked. You um, could do Mount Everest walking. with the with the pro, a pro climber. Oh, you could still die. Yeah, imagine, got, oh, imagine he died. I'm stuck up there. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, where I'm going, nigga? Where am I gonna Yo, go? Yo, that is crazy. Yeah, no, I think I have to go for Alaska to my. I think I'm gonna do that. Yo, yo, Ish, think about yeah, it. I'm getting, I'm getting fucked up. Bro, this is like eight milliliters. No, this right. is 500 milliliters. <laughs> That's not even a whole bro, liter. I bro. finished. A liter is the How big bottles, bro. It's like the big bottles. I'm trying to look it up. That's two liters a big bottle. The one, no, not you know. Okay, the, a liter is a smart, uh, smart water bottle. That's so fucking that. light, yo. Oh, like I've that? drunken, yeah. I've drunken whole LQ bottles like in a day. I ain't going. Okay, lie. but can you do that consistently? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can. Thirty days straight. That's yes, uh, there's been times. <laughs> if it's Mike's hard, yeah, I got you. There's <laughs> been times I was getting low key messed up, hella in the summer. I was drinking. I don't think so. I'd die. That, I'd literally fucking die, bro. <laughs> they gonna ride his bike from the cold <laughs> to, to the motherfucking hot ass weather. No it's way. gotta happen, bro. There's hey, no way that bike tough. doesn't break down, though. There's no way. <laughs> it's just gotta happen. That's that more than ha- people probably run marathons. <laughs> like they bro, probably ain't even hit 2, that mile mark. Miles, bro. How long would that take? That probably take like if um, you're consistent with it, bro. How long did it say to do the? The Great Wall. That took, I couldn't. Bro, you literally if that. like it takes seventeen months, on average. Seventeen. I looked that months. shit up. Seventeen months, so and that's, that's like, like I a think a year and a fucking half. A, yeah, about a year and a half. To, uh, imagine it's gonna a year take me like five years to finish that fucking <laughs> journey. I swear. You think niggas done that shit, bro? If you do that shit, you have no life. <laughs> like, you have no life. Like, or like, you better be doing. You better have something else that you have accomplished to spend a whole year and a half. Going around that shit. <laughs> like, is it around China or is it just straight like across from like China? It has to be, or okay. it's, it's like the border, isn't it? The border of ha- oh, all the countries. Too? I think I Maybe? lied. I don't know because I looked up Alaska. Period. But okay, I put in like a specific point because it wouldn't tell me, so I put in Anchorage, and that's about four thousand. <laughs> four thousand. Yeah. Like what? Nigga, up to 2,000 tw- more miles. <laughs> and that and that would be a three day drive, four hour, three day, four hour drive without stopping, and they don't have anything for um bikes so wait do they have walking Nigga, that shit gonna nah. be like two there's weeks, no walk three weeks 
<laughs> no walking be directions, month. bro. Because they don't want nobody walking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take you the fastest way there on feet. Yo, all right, so yeah, no. I right, so say three days. I'm gonna make. Car. I'm gonna make the app for that. That'll tell you how to get somewhere fast by walking. You know what? You could probably get, if you really trying for real. You get there in like two weeks. You, yeah, you get, you get there in like two weeks. Problem Boy, what is, what the fuck? Are you not sleeping at all? <laughs> is your body you not sleeping? Your body's gonna be so deteriorated from biking every day, bro. You're gonna be fit as fuck. Bro. Nah, your legs. <laughs> you could probably kick somebody and kill them. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, go on. Yo, nah, I'm gonna I'm do that though. Alaska to Miami. I'm saying, it's just gonna have a drinking problem. <laughs> it's gonna be, I'm gonna, gonna come be, out filthy rich. <laughs> I'm gonna stop drinking after that. Though. I'm probably gonna want to kill. Oh myself. my god. All right, so I got another thing if we could do. So do you have a better chance of surviving in the Amazon with only a tent and a knife for a month or survive in the cold woods of Russia with only oh. a winter coat and a knife Amazon. for a month? Amazon. Amazon? You're crazy. Bro. Do you know Russia what's in the Amazon? I, I can't do Russia cold, ain't though. no goddamn joke. Bro, do you know what's in the Amazon? I don't care. I ain't going to the, lie. The there's, like, there's probably like a million more things in the Amazon than there is in Russia. You, you put, I can't take You that put cold, a couple though. Russians in the Amazon? <laughs> that's Russia. Like, <laughs> he said that's Russia. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, bro. I don't want to do Russia <laughs> scary. Fuck I know, but that. it's just the woods. Like, I think all I got to worry about is like wolves and bears in the cold. There's that Russian wolves and bears, bro. They drink. Bro. Yo, in the drink. Amazon they got bugs. You got you got they animals. Got you got anacondas. Snakes. You got random lizards. The spiders, bro. Like you could just die just laying down. Nothing going. You don't even gonna know if something bit you. Damn, I low key might take. Wait, what do I have in Russia? You just got a coat and a knife. Coat <laughs> and a knife. You got your bait putty. <laughs> like, <your> Dang. <laughs> Yo, um, you die from hypothermia, bro. But like I you could know. build that a shelter. Very, I'm gonna find a true, cave. Though. I'll probably damn. I might do that. I, I don't Nigga, know. bears. That's where the animals stay. They're in caves because that's how they live. Hey, bro. You're not I'm taking over no cave. I'm gonna find a vacant cave. I'm gonna make make friends with a bear. Nah, bro. Vacant. You're gonna be chilling like nice. Fifteen days. <laughs> Dang, bro. What am <laughs> I bears gonna be like, damn, gonna, it's cold out here. Let me chill in here for a second. For food though, you gotta hunt, bro. You got a knife with you. Fuck, am I gonna hunt? You can get a rabbit. Gonna be out there, cold as hell. You can get a little rabbit. I'm going to catch a rabbit. I gotta do a trap. Catch I'm gonna have to wait all day What's for the, that trap. Catch a, a jackrabbit. Them shits are fast as hell, boy. You, gotta go. They gonna Amazon. blend in with the snow. You not gonna yeah. see them. <laughs> I'm just not going to Amazon, bro. It's Amazon. No, the Amazon just has everything it's times like thirty, man. literally. But Russia's is harder to live. It is, but I like I don't I don't want to be able like at least they don't got no. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I think there's even some parts of Russia that still aren't even like uh, explored. Yeah, because it's I, too cold and. I think there's other reasons they just don't go there. I'm still, I'm still going to Russia. I'm gonna try to find a way. Thirty, thirty days, bro. Thirty Man, days in Russia. I, thirty days in the cold sounds miserable. As fuck. It sounds crazy. I hate the cold too. I don't really, like. I'd rather that than like some humid ass freaking jungle with. Yeah, I ain't animals. gonna. Lie. I wake up in a fucking like sweat. Fucking like fucking like uh, giant um, tarantulas like on me. I yeah, I'm, like the like, water. Yeah. Kill myself. Piranhas in the water. You might, they might have the native people around there. You don't know what they got in the Amazon. They definitely do, actually. They definitely got them little yeah, crazy. Yeah, take, <laughs> <laughs> take me to Russia. Take me to Russia. Yeah, I guess. What's that movie, uh, Green Inferno, going to happen to oh, me? Or green, yeah, I'd rather green. I'd rather <laughs> freaking. Cannibals, what's, the, what's that movie with the dude fighting off the bulls? Re, uh, uh, Revenant. Revenant. I'd rather Revenant yeah. than the Green Inferno, bro. I ain't getting put on a stake. Nigga slept in a horse carcass, bro. For warmth. <laughs> I'd rather That's that. That's nuts. That should probably stunk. A horse <laughs> carcass? Yeah. I'd rather. Yeah, I'd rather that than get caught up and put on a stake and get eaten by ants. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, nah. I can't go out like that. Yeah, I can't I go out like yeah, that. I swear, right. them people probably really. They probably don't. They, they mastered the, the feeling of pain. They feel no yeah. pain. Like, I'm like really like. Like. Like I think I got like oh no nah, bro, I can't with that. Like I got a little like a little random phobia. Like I think I I realized I got a phobia for birds. <laughs> huh? birds. I'm not gonna lie. Like you got bird- a parrot statue over there. <laughs> Nigga, not like <laughs> that's, that. That's scary. <laughs> no, like like I don't like I don't really like I don't fuck with birds. Like I like that's the not fo- a phobia. Like the flapping of it that shit creep me out. Niggas are flying. You said <laughs> that shit creeps me out. Jay got birds. I can't. Have, I don't like when they land on my finger. I don't get bro, it. Bro, I think the fuck. I think eagles are like some of the most fire like animals. I ain't gonna lie. Like I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I never fuck fire. with chickens either. <laughs> are you the birds? I don't get it though. I don't know. Well, I, I, I can't judge you. My fear. My fear is no as a pet, better, so. bro. Like, like imagine a, a wild turkey. Oldie. 
Okay. A group of wild turkeys trying to get you, bro. It's not going to bother me. Again, again, we, uh, I have a phobia <laughs> too, and you're going to be like, that wouldn't bother me either, so I get it. Like, I already know your phobia. You want to yeah. tell the world? Uh, have, I, have I said it on here? I don't know if you have. Oh, well, I mean, hey, now hear me out. A lot of you are out there. If you guys do watch, submechanophobia is a thing. All right? It's more realistic <laughs> than fucking pigeons. So hear me out. These guys are to make fun. <laughs> it's, it's man-made objects in water. Freaks me out. Can't do it. Wait, what do you say? Man-made what? objects in water. So what I'm was the you, phobia called, though? Submechanophobia. Subnautica. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared of that game? Yes, no. The Subnautica scared the shit out of me. That was, that was one of the scariest games I've ever played in my life. Subnautica's lit, bro. It's what a is, really good game, though. What's the game? Um, So basically, you, like, uh, you're, I guess you're like a space explorer, right? But you crash land on a planet. Yeah. That's entirely engulfed by water. Okay. Entirely engulfed. Mm-hmm. And basically, you have to just survive. But it's like, it's like, it's like if Minecraft was underwater. And mm. b- b- the fish in there are fucking crazy. Nah, they're like alien like, looking ass fish. Like they're called You're Leviathans. In the water. Like, oh, I think yo, I heard my, my cousin, my little cousin put me on. He said, Yeah, I'm scared of the Levi. He said, That's why I, I went swimming with him. He was like, Yeah, I don't want to go in there. I think the Levi, whatever that <laughs> shit was in there. <laughs> was like, let, me show you, let me show you what the Reaper Leviathan looks like. You pull it up on but the phone. He, he just scary. showed me it in the game. I was like, Yo, I ain't going to lie. I don't want to play that game either. <laughs> like that, bro, that it's scary. Because you, because to progress through the game, obviously you have to go deeper and deeper. So it's you're like going you're going. It, feel, you it feels like you're thing. going in like the actual ocean, but it's like some alien. What did you ocean. play it on? Uh, well, you can play it on. Nah, I think it's on console. PlayStation. He got Imagine it. playing that shit in the VR. Yeah, it bro. The VR. fuck is that? That's the Reaper Leviathan, and it's massive. Let me see. What the fuck? Yeah, that, but in the game when it's swimming around, that shit Dude, looks mad scary. You, barely, you could hear actually. So the thing. The game is really smart. So the way they scare you is audio cues. Yeah. You'll hear some crazy shit behind you. You look around and that shit just goes and gets your ass. Really? It jump scare the fuck out of me. I had to quit. I couldn't finish the game. I was just scared. <laughs> so wait, what is that fear of you said? You said okay, man-made so, okay, okay, objects. Okay, okay, okay. In the, what's man-made objects so in the water? So imagine like an abandoned airplane or a crash ship or a crash car underneath the water. Oh. It scares me to high hell. But how would you know it's there? If I saw it underwater. Oh. Or so, like, or like, if like half of this room was submerged in water, I'd be so uncomfortable. Like, I'd be deathly afraid. Mm. So like, so say like this if room- so if like we went swimming in like uh fucking you know like Puerto Rico and it was like oh shit Atlantis is right there. I'm out. Like just hella like I'm out. <laughs> hella underwater like yeah, building no, so, and stuff. You wouldn't want to go see that. I feel no. like that shit would be lit. Like, no, I'm no, I can't. It. Um, like you, scuba dive. Like I think the most there? terrifying thing I've ever seen in person is Jaws of the Ride. Cause it's a, like a mechanical shark, bro, underwater. Yo, I, that is actually kind of scary. I've though. thought about it so many lot. times. If I <laughs> fell in that water, I genuinely believe I would explode and die. I, I shit you not. I know it can't hurt me. I'm fully aware it's a robot. But if I fell in that fucking water, I literally, I'd rather slaughter my family. I'm not trying to be. Funny. Like I genuinely Yo. rather every single person in my bloodline before I got in that fucking water. I'm not kidding. Yo, you can't people, make me. what was that? Was that Wildwood the first time? Bro, we went to Wild. We went to a. A uh, mini golf place, and there was animatronics everywhere. Jason was around, just just looking over his shoulder and shit. <laughs> was that the first? That was the first Wildwood, right? Or was that Seaside? I think it was. Uh, I think Wildwood. it was the first time we went to Wildwood, and we went to that random uh, mini, mini golf. golf place. And that was the first time you told me you were scared like animatronics. I don't like animatronics <laughs> that much, but you put them underwater, I am fucked. Oh my god, bro! Yeah, no, they're they're. It's a bad thing. Hey, bro, that's not as bad as. Nah, that is kind of. You kinda, got any phobias? Um, like things that you can't explain, but you're scared of. Um, I have, nah, but I mean, honestly, I don't like, um, I have that type of phobia. It's not really, I'm scared of it, but it makes me uncomfortable. Like, you know, when it's like, like, it's like, it's like trying to, f- uh, it's like, I forgot what it's called. It's like, there's like irregular holes and shit. Oh, it's, um, damn, I've heard about that. It's like a, what is it called? The hole phobia. Fuck. I'll that shit makes me so uncomfortable. Like it, like just seeing like a bunch of like say there's a bunch of holes in my hand, like just like oh my god, it just makes it's my a, skin crawl, bro. Tri, uh, tripophobia. Tripophobia, yo, that shit, I oh you. my god, bro. Oh yeah, that that does make me uncomfortable. That too. makes me Honestly, so uncomfortable. Though, I don't like I don't like heights, but it's weird though. Like I could go on like roller coasters and stuff, but like That's what oh yeah, that that, that just see? makes me yeah, that just makes That's my skin crawl. That's freaking gross. Like oh my god, bro. But yeah, if I'm on like a high ass like thing and they be like, yeah, you gotta walk over this bridge, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm I'm really straight. If I don't feel like I'm safe and I'm up really high, nah, I don't like that. See, I be thinking I'm afraid of heights, but then it's just like. 
like, I nah, don't, like I'm really scared. Like if we was to go, like I don't want to go on that. Sh- you know where they got them buildings with like the see through floors. Oh yeah, no, nah, that shit will that, freak me. I will be like, nah, no. Oh really? That shit, yeah, that's scary. Mm. I don't like that. Oh, uh, like would you like would you do like skydiving type shit? Fuck no. Yeah. I, Fuck no. I, I, People I think be I telling would. me that. Fuck no. I think they I would be eventually. like, yeah. It's a blood. It's rushing through my blood. Oh, nigga, tell you freaking hit that floor. <laughs> nothing's gonna be rushing. But nah. <laughs> he said nothing's gonna be rushing. <laughs> Nah, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm too scared of that. I'd be creeped out by the dark sometimes. I got over my fear of that. Because, like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be having, I'd be playing mind games with myself. Oh, that's 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I live, um, I'm currently, damn it. Now I'm not gonna put myself in that situation. I live <laughs> on the lower floor of my house. But, um, and sometimes I, like, when I turn off the lights to go to bed, mm-hmm. I'd be like, what if a nigga just came out and just ate me right now? Yeah, like, like damn. And I get scared for a second. I'm like, you're being dumb. And then I stop. <laughs> like I swear Like I be thinking nah, I don't I see be shit. scared Of freaking like No No freaking Animal or nothing I just be scared Like it's just gonna be Like A random person In the dark That's just like Out to get me one day That oh, shit Like, that like just like a, a thief Or a oh, robber like a, or Somebody yeah. just like Broke in your house I Yeah very... like, like I just go Not worrying about Nothing like, in the dark One day And some nigga Just yeah. jumps on me That's mm. like My biggest fear I very too. much don't like Leaving like shit Like this open Oh like yeah, your windows definitely. Because I don't you do can't that. see out Because it's obvious If you have light You're yeah. reflecting yourself mm-hmm. But if you focus in And I saw a pair of eyes Oh yeah that would kill I me I would fucking I might have a heart attack like, That would freak me out Nah bro, bro. Like, like I be, like I be walking, through, like I can't walk through my house with the lights off. I, I gotta turn like this late. This you said you thought you had ghosts. I think I still do got ghosts in my crib because I be, like I swear, like I be thinking shit, like shit just be moving around my crib, like just randomly. Like I promise you, there's something like, like downstairs, there's like a, there's like a cane on the wall. I've never touched that shit. I don't know where it came from. It was here ever since we moved. We never touched it, and I don't want to touch it. Mm. And I just be feeling like. Like I be thinking, I don't know. I just think I mess with myself. I be thinking somebody just like looking on my, like looking at me. If I'm like, say I'm like this, I'm just standing like, say I'm in my basement, <clears throat> running on the treadmill, right? I be feeling like something's like watching me run on the treadmill, like that's behind me. Like that's what my mind be thinking. But I know there's nobody back there, but it just be creeping me out. Yeah, I be feeling like that um, a lot when I'm in the the house by myself. Like I swear, like especially I like my house be, be creaking, feeling. like when you step, yeah. like. Like, you could hear, like, the footsteps. Oh, yeah, nah, that would freak me the fuck out. I used to um, be weird with mirrors. I think I saw, like, a scary movie about mirrors one time. I used to always think there's something bad looking back at me. Or, like, Yo, behind me when I look yeah, up. Yeah, there was actually, actually what was a, a it was time. a good movie about, it was, like, this girl in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Was that, um, that wasn't the one of the Conjuring movies, right? Oh, uh, I don't nah, think wait, so. What was it called? That's it's no called the like Oculus or something. Oh, Oculus! Oh, yeah, there you go. It was Oculus. Yeah, that shit was crazy. When I first seen that, I was like, that shit kind of freaked me out. I was crazy. scared to look like, in the like, mirror for real. Like that shit. I only look like especially like like say you go in the bathroom and you look in the mirror and like the lights is off. Like uh, like when I was a kid, like oh, the whole yeah. Bloody Mary shit scared. Bloody Mary just scared the even, fuck out of me, bro. Even still, when I be waking up in the middle of the night and I turn the freaking, I still be half asleep. I'd be like, bro. Like Some, sometimes I don't even. Turn the light on. I'm about to be like, nah, bro. I don't want to see no shit. <laughs> that should <laughs> be crazy. The shower right? curtains too, bro. I don't like that shit either. What? Like, oh, yeah. like, we, you think somebody's in this? I make yeah. sure my shower curtains open yeah, every time bro. I'm in there, bro. No, my parents love to sh- shut that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Like, shit's open. Either that or, like, when I'm taking a shower, I gotta wash my face. Oh, when I was yeah. a kid, I used to be mad and afraid. I used to, like, uh, do it real quick. I used to not, like, washing my face. Gotta be thinking, like, just imagine <laughs> something pops up in my face. Yeah, no. Like that shit's me- like that shit's crazy, yeah. and like I think I talked about this before. Like you ever had like them little like sleep paralysis shits, bro? Of course, I had one the other day actually. But I was really? I was aware I was in sleep paralysis. Yeah, it doesn't bother me too much when it first happened. Yeah, but now I'm aware and I'll just try and wake myself up. But it's annoying because obviously your, your subconscious is going while your eyes are open, so like it'll really trick you. Like I could have wow. felt something tugging on my blanket or someone walking next to me or saw something, but I know it's not real. But that's yeah. what it does. That shit, like, my mind really be playing trick, like, freaking no, me the I fuck out, I actually haven't bro. had one of the moments. I kind of want to, though. No, you don't. Nah, no, you don't. <laughs> it it, it shit feels it. so goddamn, you were just laying there, bro, like this. That shit probably and, sounds like And whatever bro, your subconscious death. will think of, imagine sleeping, 
but with your eyes open. So everything that ima- happens in your dreams is literally happening in front of you in the setting that you were looking at, in your bed, in your home. Bro, like I, really the nice. worst one, I felt like I was floating. I'm not gonna I thought I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, like that shit lifted me up, bro. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> the exorcism is <laughs> Like, I think, no, nah, I definitely talked about this in the pod like, like three times. I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna say it again. Like I had a dream that Jay was doing that little Candyman shit. And like, oh, like you know the Candyman no. shit, and the, she did that shit. And like, my body like tensed up and I couldn't move. I heard a ring in my ear and I couldn't move for like a good like five minutes. I thought the nigga killed me. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga said I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead up, bro. Nigga said I you thought know, I seen my you know, life. funny about that actually? Jakai said he had a dream last night where he died and it was the most peaceful thing he's ever experienced. And that was the best sleep he ever got in his life. The nigga said he died and it was so peaceful. <laughs> What the what? fuck? That nigga's guy is so What's <laughs> wrong with him? Is he good? Nah, niggas say like when you had dreams, that's like you experiencing another yeah, life. Another reality. Another reality, like yeah. for like a quick second. That's why niggas have deja vu. I think it's possible. Like imagine you have deja vu. It's like somebody going into your mind, like experiencing that shit with you because it makes you seem like you've seen that shit. And then he jumps back at it. Like, oh shit, I've seen this before. But really, a nigga's yeah. just like in your body real quick. Like, yeah, I, that is nuts. Just imagine that shit. Cause there is like there, I think there is like a bunch of like dimensions where there's like different parts of us, like you know, infin- infinite outcomes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like there's different versions of us, us where we took like different paths in our lives. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Niggas, ne- we'll never know, bro. Mm-hmm. But I got, I got one last question. I might have another one after this. So, would you rather be five foot and three hundred and fifty pounds, or seven foot two and one hundred and fifteen pounds? Damn boy, damn boy. <laughs> so imagine you're five nah, foot three fifty. Seven foot two, one hundred pounds is no. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> insane. You're just literally bones. You're literally bones. You really can't. You like, might look like a skeleton, actually. Yeah, nah. Nah, uh, I'm taking that big body, boy. <laughs> you could, bro. Imagine five feet in three fifty. Nah, I'm gonna be a fucking. I just gotta be fat. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna be a ball, cuz I swear to God. Like, niggas might have to, Let's see, there's a picture niggas of might have to put me on like a special, a special wheelchair to move me around. <laughs> Somebody have to push, probably like two people to push me. Hey, freaky yo, bro. But honestly, you might be a roly poly, my nigga. I'm gonna lose that. You gonna lose that, I'm bro? I'm gonna have to lose so much. It might take me like five years to, <laughs> to lose. But I gotta still, lose like a hundred pounds I, each year. She's, so she's say five you, foot three and three fifty on the left. Let me see. Five foot three fifty. Oh my god! Imagine another <laughs> two hundred pounds. Just no, but imagine you're three inches shorter. So look, now you lose, oh lost the weight, but now you five foot. <laughs> For the rest of you, you can't change that shit. Five fifty is a little bit insane. Like just nah, imagine gonna five foot grown ass man. I'm gonna be a ball. You're gonna be. I'm gonna be tall, bro. Cause at least I I can pack some muscle You're in be there. Bro, brittle as fuck. No I can I can get I can gain bro, some weight. You can fucking get hit by a fucking a kid riding a bike. Yo ass. Yo, <laughs> You're broken. Yo fucking bones is gonna break <laughs> like shit. Yo, but at least, bro, I can't be five foot grown ass man, bro. That's a crazy life. That is. <laughs> That's a crazy. <laughs> Shout out my, my, hey, short, my kings. short kings. I'm my sorry. Short, bro. Shout out, shout out, shout out John, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can't. bro, if you got that muscle, bro, and Nigga, you gonna have you Napoleon need to have that syndrome. Personality. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else do I know is five foot. <laughs> Mikey Matulo, you'll never see this. Shout out you. You all know who that is? Yeah, no, Hell yeah, yeah, my boy. Nah, bro, I can't be five foot. Crazy bro, life, man, bro. I'll be, I'll be angry. <laughs> I just, I really like the Napoleon syndrome, but that shit's really a thing. Yeah, like imagine hell, bro. I I'll be seven two. I I gain some weight. I just eat as much as I can. You look crazy. <laughs> you look like damn Slenderman, bro. You look like a fucking like a Wendigo, a Skinwalker. Hey, bro. I might get I might get an offer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, I might bro. get an offer. <laughs> I'm, I could no, be it's an crazy actor. though, because didn't yeah. they say people that are seven foot have like a twenty percent chance more going to the NBA? NBA than a regular person mm-hmm. that's not. Nigga, it's all about height. It's all about height. Just seven foot. Nigga said, "Yeah, bro, you have a better chance 
playing in the league. Yeah, Yao Ming. I'm a pre- I, I don't know. I don't know anything about basketball. Did, was he any good at basketball? No, Yao Ming was, was nice as fuck. That he was? Okay. He was the best nigga over seven something. Mm. Bro, that nigga was like seven six. But like that was the reason why he didn't. He stopped playing because he was really too big. He started hurting himself. Mm. Like that his feet was... couldn't like hold up no more. Like he really just kept breaking his foot, breaking his foot. Yeah. But like he literally was just right there, just dunk dunking on niggas. He was he was diamond niggas shooting jump shots. Is that, is that when they won? Did they win? Nah, like six or seven? Mm-hmm. Was that it? I don't know. When he was nah, playing. he was on the Rockets with Tracy McGrady. He almost won. They went to the semifinals, but I don't think they made mm. it. How fuck do you lose? Hey, he just kept getting hurt. Like honestly, with a nigga that big, he can't move that fast. Fuck so like, no. you, you could like you could shoot if you if he's guarding you, you can shoot threes. He's not gonna run out to you. You, better, you just gotta make the threes. Like you thought Shaq was big. That nigga made him look, look fucking small, bro. like a fucking That's guard. Wild. <laughs> you seen that's insane. You seen that new dude, that dude from France coming to fucking the NBA, bro? That mm-hmm. nigga's about to be old. That nigga like seven six, no <laughs> seven five, but he's skinny though. And that's could, so insane. And he could, he's nah, like a two K player, OP, bro. Though. Is that he's not like, the, a, like the height of the rim? He's bro? like a demi god. Like ten feet. He's like a demi god. He could bro. shoot three. Yeah, dribble, but his wingspan dribble. definitely. He could touch. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he he his wingspan like eight feet. Nigga's like a pterodactyl, bro. Bruh. <laughs> I want to see that nigga play, bro. That'd be crazy, bro. That nigga just had like 30 and like 12 like the other day. Bro, you know what? Uh, somebody chamber, just sent me. Speaking of these, remember that uh, Imoni uh, Bates nigga? I know, that nigga got arrested. Yeah, so bro. He had a gun. Gun possession. And like they, they scratched the serial number off the gun, so he got two uh, charges on it. But the thing he's saying is it wasn't his car, and he didn't know there was a gun in there. Mm. So he's pleading, pleading not guilty. But like, that's ass, bro. That nigga really yeah. like, cause he was supposed to be KD two point I ain't gonna lie. And then it just yeah. started going downhill for that man, bro. But hey, bro. Hopefully he does fine. Hopefully it wasn't his gun. Hopefully he don't go to jail. I don't wish jail upon nobody, bro. Jail is horrible. Yeah. Y'all people that think y'all could survive jail, y'all little kids, y'all mm. little twelve year olds that think. Up. Y'all could just shoot somebody and go to jail. Y'all be fine. Y'all crazy. Y'all niggas in the Bronx? Nah, y'all crazy. <laughs> but uh, they, don't, they don't care, bro. They don't care, bro. But y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about? I think I talk about everything for the day. Um, No. Is this the end? It is the end. All right, word. Uh, real quick. Hit us up, bro. Hit us up in the Discord. Follow the Instagrams. Talk to us, bro. We'll respond. Love it. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had, what, two or three people hit me up. Love it, bro. Makes me feel extremely happy. I'm sure everybody else feels the same. Don't be afraid to hit us up. And, uh, you know, obviously subscribe on everything. And, uh, yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Cops are merch when it comes out. Hopefully by Type shit. around Halloween-ish, we got some new merch coming. And um, like Jason said, hit us up in the DMs if y'all want to talk to us. They talk to me a lot. They be giving me, like, topics and mm. shit to talk about. So if you got some topics, go join the Discord. Let us know. Talk to us in Discord. If you want to play games with us, we might start. I think Fritz said he's going to start streaming and shit. Yeah, if you like 2K, I mean, obviously, all we, we play 2K. New Call of Duty's coming Fritz out. You ever want to play anything, bro? No problem, Fritz. bro. Yeah. So let us know. Uh, follow all the socials down below, all that shit. Oh, shout out Sheila Jeet Minerals for sponsoring uh, us in this podcast. Sheila G. Sheila G. <laughs> so if y'all want, if y'all need something for y'all brains, y'all mental, y'all tired, y'all need some energy, y'all don't like drinking coffee, this is perfect for you. It's a little earthy taste, but you know it's all good for you. As long as you, they said that should boost your testosterone too. So for all my young yeah. niggas, I yeah. need a little boost. But um, you guys have anything else you want to say? Also, you know nah, what I'm cause thank y'all again. Thank y'all again for pulling up. Of course, sir. Yes, I can. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, my brothers. We different they oh shit. Dang it's phone foul. We different they regular no regular man gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.